This is David Spears, civil engineering instructor at Texas Tech University, talking, talking about the CE 2301 statics exam number two, page three. This is a sort of composite of all three versions of the test. Problem 13 and 14 were related. They had to do with this distributed load with this uh, function of x as measured from the left end to give you the value of the distributed load at any point. The value that I've selected for this is 3x to the 2 fifths power kilonewtons per meter. Problem 13, the first part, was the magnitude to figure the magnitude of the concentrated force PEQ that's equivalent to the distributed load on the bar AB. It's one meter long. So PEQ is the integral of the function WX, which is the value of the distributed load, times the width DX from one end to the other. So it's the integral of this function, 3x to the 2 fifths power dx. Remember that the integral of x to the n is equal to x to the n plus 1 over n plus 1. So integral of x to the 2 fifths is x to the 7 fifths over 7 fifths. Keeping our 3 constant out there. So I can evaluate, rearrange the uh, term on the bottom to be 15 sevenths x to the 7 fifth power evaluated at 0 and 1. At 0, x equals 0, this whole thing goes to 0. At x equals 1, 1 to the 7 fifth power is still 1, so it's just 15 sevenths, 2.143. That's the answer to part to number 13, 2.143 kilonewtons. Number 14 is find the location x bar that PEQ acts to have the same effect as the distributed loading. So I just want to take the moment about point A of that distributed loading. So that's really W, the load is WX DX and I've put the x term, which is the distance to the point A, the left end, of any one of those little elemental segments. So that's equal to the integral of 3x to the 2 fifths, which is that height, times x dx. Uh, combine those x terms, I have 3x to the 7 fifths dx. Once again, x to the n plus 1 over n plus 1 is, makes it 3x to the 12 fifths over 12 fifths. So rearrange that, I get 15 twelfths x to the 12 fifths power evaluated at 0, it's 0. Evaluated at x equals 1, this x to 12 fifths is still 1, so it's 15 twelfths or 1.25. That's kilonewton meters because it's a moment. So remember that m, the moment, is equal to the force times the distance, so I just rearrange that equation into this format. x bar is equal to the moment divided by the equivalent force. My moment is 1.25 kilonewton meters divided by 2.143 kilonewtons from part 13 is equal to 0.583 meters, and that's the answer. That's the x-bar distance that PEQ acts at. Number 15 was a an n-force member, where n is an integer. A, B, C, D is the name that the test gave that problem. I mean, they gave that bar, that member. And n really refers to the number of points of load application, so that's one, two, three, four, five. It is not the number of forces, because remember, if I have two forces, in this case, or 97 forces, or whatever, acting at a point, I can resolve those into one force. So
so it's a five force member here because those two forces can be resolved these two can be resolved number 16 is an odd shaped um, two bars pinned together a b curving and straight bar bc they're pinned together at point b i'm asked to sketch a free body diagram of bar bc and i'm also told that the radius of ab is l over five approximately so all i want is a free body diagram of bar bc it has a pin at both ends part of the point of this was this is a ab is a two force member so the forces out on it have to act collinearly in the same line of action and so that gives me a BX and a BY which happen to be equal because it's uh, going at a 45 degree angle but anyway at the other end I have CX and CY and then I have to resolve my distributed loading which is W0 sloping down to nothing at the point C into an equivalent load kind of like did up here it's W L over 2 is the magnitude of that load so this is my free body diagram